Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you uh, some different content. We're going to be looking at uh, pinning and drying bugs, and I got a camera set up in a different way, or I actually just got a stand for my phone, and I think this is going to work pretty good. I have a little desk light here to give us some light, and I have uh, plenty of space to work with right here. So let's get into this. So we're going to be talking about pinning and uh, labeling bugs for a professional collection. This is where I'm going to be pinning today. This isn't where you should normally pin, this is just an uh, improviser for now. So then next you're going to need uh, some bugs obviously, some bugs that you've collected with uh, data and whatnot. So let me pull out a vial. So this is a vial of Cisandella from Ward County, Texas. And actually, I really don't want to pin these right now, but let's go ahead and do this. So right here is where the Cisandella are at. In here, I caught these, uh, let's see, when did I catch them? Uh, July 24th, 2017. So let me see if I can get that on the camera. July 24th, 2017. So that's the debt label right there that has all the information and data. So I pull that out. Gotta save the debt label because you need that. And we're only gonna pin a couple specimens because I don't really need all these pinned right now and I'd rather save them for later. So this is Cisandella lepida, AKA ghost tiger beetle. There's a lot of names for it. So now that I have these system tell, I'm going to put them inside of this little cup and leave them there for now. And then to keep preserving these, the rest of these, I'm going to put this damp paper towel back in. This paper towel was soaked with the non-acetone nail polish remover, so that's why it uh, preserves them. Normally I would put them in alcohol, but this was a in-the-field thing that I recently decided to start doing, and it works pretty good. I haven't had any problems with uh, pinning any specimens or anything. So you need this label, you're going to keep it uh, somewhere with you on the side. And now let's actually look at pinning these things. Right now they're kind of dirty so let's wash them up with a little bit of alcohol. So this is 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to pour a little bit of alcohol into this uh, small deli cup right here. And I'm gonna put these Cisandella lepida inside of here. When I caught them, they were really sandy because they live they live in sand hills. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually quite a bit of sand and sediment building up on the bottom. And really, this whole jar is filled with sand. Uh, if anyone's wondering, I'm recording with the iPhone 7 Plus. It's uh, gonna be my new recording tool for YouTube. So hopefully I can get active and back into this. So now let's get into pins. So I normally keep my pins very close by, right next to you. On the right, of where this video should be, on the right side there's a, a box right here. And in here I keep pins and other materials to work with. So let's see. I have a small little tray with another tray of some... Uh, bugs I need to pin, but we just need the pins. So let's adjust this and get this out of here because this is in the way now. So now we have uh, pins and specimens. These Cisandella are particularly hard to pin actually. They're quite fragile and very flimsy and just really flimsy overall. This particular species is flimsier than normal, I would say. So first off, I'm going to dry it off just by blowing on it. So it can uh, dry up a little bit and not be as flimsy. And then next I want to, let's see if I can get a little bit closer on this. So I want to, I want to pin it in the right elytra and I want to keep it as level and steady as possible. 
So first I'm just going to start by puncturing the right elytra. And so there it has been punctured. Let me get some light in here. So there it has been punctured. After it has been punctured, I want to fully puncture it going through the bottom. So to do this, I'm going to line it up as straight as possible and press down. Wow, this is an embarrassing moment. I probably should have cleaned my nails before. This looks pretty disgusting. So, let's see. Now that that's been pinned all the way through, I can simply take it to this pinning board and press straight down on it until it becomes elevated on the pin. And then you're gonna need what we call a pinning block. You don't actually need this, but in order to have a professional collection, you probably want this to keep everything uniform. So I, uh, I pin it on one, so I'm gonna take it on the slowest one and push it all the way down until the needle stops. Once it stops, I can pull the needle out and the cisandella or any specimen that I want will be exactly where I need it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, correct the legs because we can see they're pretty messed up. So I just tucked them all in. The two uh, rear ones facing backwards and the two uh, front legs facing forward. And the antenna off to the side, to the back, anywhere but sticking out. And then we have a well pinned specimen. Okay, so now I have uh, my uh, five Cisandella Lepida pinned, and they're pretty nice specimens. You can see uh, there's lots of color variation. This uh, this one on the far right being, oh, I guess, yeah, there's your right, being a weird brown. This one a uh, slight red, then green, uh, red again, and then we have another green specimen. So now we need to label them. So for labeling I use uh, cardstock. You can just pick this up anywhere at Walmart. Cardstock is pretty much just uh, thicker paper than average. And what I used to do is uh, cut off a little slit here for myself and then I take some scissors and cut it right about there. So let's say it's a, uh, I don't know, 25, 20 millimeters, half an inch, whatever you want to call it. So there is that. Now on here I write my labels and I write them as small as I possibly can get. So this is where I write them on and they end up like this. So let's see if any of these are legible. Usually it takes a lot of work to read the damn things. Especially a handwritten one. The, the modern way would be to write this out. So we can see here it says uh, Texas Warda County, Monahan Sandhills, 24 July 2017, collected Jaden Herrera. So this is how uh, all debt labels should be written in this order and the species should be written on a different label. So I've already written four of these so I think we should go ahead and write a fifth one. And to write these labels the best thing to use is a, a micron pin which I can't find mine at the moment. Oh I dropped it. So the best thing to use is a micron pin. This is a uh, micron 0.5 millimeter, and it's got some other uh, special features too. I can put these labels in alcohol or in uh, liquids, and they won't bleed or fade. If you rub them out, they will fade though, but other than that, they won't naturally bleed or fade. So let's get to writing this label. 
So these labels are pretty hard to write. It takes a lot of uh, concentration to focus on something so small. So I don't expect y'all to see the majority of this since I'll be uh, crammed right up over it. But let's get to work. So first off, you're going to start off with writing TX. So I have TX written in the top corner. I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to put Ward County. W-A-R-D. C-O dot. Ward County. That's pretty bad handwriting, but it gets it gets right. That's all we need to do. And for this part, I'm going to need to write Monaghan Sandhills. So now it says uh, Monaghan Sandhills. Now I need to put the date. So 24... VI July 2017 So that's all written out now and then I'm going to put C O L L dot that's abbreviation for uh, collected and then I'm going to put J dot Herrera So now I have this uh debt label written out Monahan Sandhills looks kind of messy but it's uh, written out. So now I need to simply cut this, which is pretty easy. Just gonna, as close as I can to the my hands part. And then same thing on the other side. And now you have a label. So we have five labels here for all five of our specimens. So let's get to putting labels on these things. So here I'm going to take my specimen, Cisandella lepida, and I'm going to take the label, and I want to place it kind of on the right side since, not too far to the right, but a little bit on the right side because uh, the beetle is being pinned on the right side on the right elytra, and you can usually stick it pretty easily like this, and then after this I... Uh, force it down on a pinning tray and so now it's partially on there and then I just slide it up so now I have it pinned and so I've taken time and pinned the rest of these so now we have uh, a nice series of Sisson to the Lepida. <clears throat> and then as a final step to label them as a species, I'm gonna take another paper, a piece of cardstock, and on it I'm gonna write Sisson to the Lepida. I want this to be fairly small but not too small. So So now, Cisandella, and then right under it, I'm going to write Lepida. Uh, it's pretty bad quality, but it'll have to do. Normally, I take more time on this, but this is just for video purpose. Normally, pinning and labeling takes a very long time and a lot more patience, and you should not do it as fast as I did. So, in, instead of cutting it right by the end of the word I'm gonna cut it with I don't know let's say four millimeters of extra room but I will slim it up so now it says just another leopard with a little bit of extra room and my last specimen to the far uh, left I'm gonna take remove his uh, debt label and I'm gonna poke The system of the leopard label. And put it on there. So now it says a uh, system of the leopard. And I'm going to take that debt label and I'm going to put it right back on. So now it has a. Uh, Dead label and species.
So now it's identify, identified and has a collection data. And now I'm just uh, giving it some final touches. There, all straightened up. Oh, not quite. There we go. All straightened up. Looks pretty good. And so I'm going to line it up with the rest of these. And now we have a nice series of Assistant de la Lepera with uh, a label. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Like and subscribe.